tax season is right around the corner and many of us will be getting our information together this month so we can file our taxes. There can be several questions when it comes to taxes. So here to help us out is our financial expert Paul Hood from Hood CPAs. Hey, Paul, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Hey, buddy. Yeah, appreciate you having me. So our, uh, our first question today comes from David and David says I did not have taxes withheld from my W-2 paycheck then did not file for several years. Is there a way I can have the taxes I owe forgiven? So David needs to know that the IRS generally doesn't negotiate uh, per se with taxes. They do have a preset uh, methodology for mitigating or minimizing those taxes. And that's what's called an offer in compromise. And they will accept a, an offer in compromise for the taxes he would owe based on two reasons, one of two reasons. One is what's called doubt as to collectability. The second is doubt as to liability. Well, David probably wouldn't qualify underneath the second one because there's probably no doubt that he does owe the money. The only way he could get out of that is if we looked at all of his assets and basically convinced the IRS that if they came in and took everything he had and, and short sell, sold it, that they would only get in a certain amount. So there's a provision for that. So the only way to get out of it, it would be that if David's in pretty bad shape financially, that we could say, well, if you come in and get what you can get, um, we can do that. Okay. Our next question comes from Emily and Emily says, I own a wedding venue business. Can I deduct the total utility bill cost, including the sales tax? So yeah, I mean, any bid, regardless of what business you're in, you can deduct the reasonable, ordinary, necessary expenses of operating that business. Um, so whatever those expenses are, they can be deducted. There's two things we look at though. One is, if, is it a capital item? Is it a piece of equipment that can be spread out, needs to be spread out over a number of years? And then two, is it an expense that, that is uh, called a listed asset or a listed expense, meaning that it's got both an element of personal and business, like a home office or a car, or a cell phone. But if it's just a straight deduction, yes, you can write everything off, including the sales tax that she pays. All right, good advice if you are a business owner. And our last question comes from John. He's got a two-parter. He says, I bought a new truck this year. I use it about 40% personal and 60% for business. I also track my mileage. Do I need to move the truck to business to be able to depreciate it? Can I write off mileage and depreciate the truck in the same year? Okay. so. What happens with it, like the answer to this previous question, that would be a listed asset, and which means it's got an element of personal use and business use. So with a vehicle, you either take mileage or actual expenses. The only expense you can take both ways would be the interest on the vehicle. So we would try, he needs to keep track of the mileage and then either take the standard mileage rate times that mileage or use that business miles divided by the total miles to prorate the actual expenses. So that would be your repairs, your insurance, your tag, your gas, those kind of things, and depreciation, and compare the two, and you get the larger of the two. As far as it being owned by his business, that's a little more complicated question. Typically, you should keep a personal asset, a personal, and have the business reimburse you. All right, Paul, hard to believe it's tax season. Busy time of year for you guys. Thanks so much. It is. Here we go. Yep. And if you have a financial question you would like us to ask Paul next week, you can send them to us at moneymonday at griffin.news.